In this video, I'm going to show you how I make an enclosure for the Ender 3. It's a bit like this one, but it's way better and much more awesome. Hi, I'm John from Prop Printing. In this video, I'm going to make an enclosure for the Ender 3 Pro. I've promised to do this already a couple of times and today, finally is the day that I'm going to make an enclosure. Yeah, it was a lot of work to design it, but I'm sure this will be awesome and I can't wait to put this together. I first want to mention something about that power supply. My previous video was about the power supply mod, where I placed the power supply on this uh, position. And I got a comment from Volcaster, who asked why I have closed the power supply. And I did that uh, due to safety. He mentions that it's, well, that's used to blow out air, and it kind of makes sense. Thank you for that comment. I have adjusted the design air can uh, blow out and your fingers can't go in and a nice side effect is that it looks a lot cooler in my opinion I was already uh, working on it and I added this one too so I have the option to use well, this connector again for other purposes which use uh, 24 volts and I have some uh, some neat ideas for that but that's for another video. But this connector is still dangling here for future purposes. <laughs> Designing this enclosure was a lot of work and I think maybe it's a bit overkill, but it was a lot of fun to do. Yeah, I'm going to show you what I've designed. What I've done with this design, if I hide all the sheets. So this is the, um, yeah. The wire cage and it's held together with these corner pieces and yeah it was a lot of work to make this well because well for example this and this rod are uh, have an, an angle in multiple dimensions so i had to learn uh, to work with a 3d sketch and that's less convenient than uh, i thought it would be I've used these uh, M6 and M4 inserts. I really love the color combination of the brass together with the blue. I, I put way too much work in, in this, especially inserting these, uh, these inserts. Well, it's not uh, the nicest work, but you have to yeah, make the best out of it uh, yourself. Yeah, you should really want to do that. With the original Ender 3, the screen is placed here on this uh, side. That wouldn't work with this enclosure. So I had to find another location. The most convenient location was here at the front. I have combined this uh, front panel with a holder for this rod. I had to um, modify the uh, power supply bracket and I've adjusted it so that these corner pieces can snap here into place and this rod snaps here into place and here 
And there I encountered a little problem with this bracket which holds the uh, y-axis motor. It um, collided with, um, with this threaded rod while removing uh, that corner and uh, giving it uh, a bit of black paint. Wasn't that much work. I've uh, bought a ton of, uh, of M6 threaded rods and M4. I have printed out a few of just the rods and uh, I manually added all the, uh, the lengths. I cut all these rods to the proper length. I have a ruler of 60 centimeters long enough for all these rods. I bought a bunch of these uh, nuts and washes. If you place this here, then make sure it's centered. So I've designed it like this. The rods are 10 millimeters longer than these corner pieces. Um, that the distance between these corner pieces are. So the corner piece needs to be five millimeters on this rod. It is at its position. And I have placed the wrong one on it. <laughs> this is a bit of a puzzle. You can call me stupid. Yes, you can call me sheep. You can say I lay it. When it comes to her, you better keep it sealed. Don't you dare say a single word, or I will strike you where it feels. You think that using her would get to me, and if you're right, then you're in trouble, D. Cause I won't break, no, I know I won't wait. I've learned a valuable lesson. Make sure that the length, the lengths of all these rods are perfect, and then uh, yeah, this can be mounted. 
Yeah, that's what I've learned. Something wasn't lining up and I have found out what went wrong. I started off here at the front and it turns out that this uh, doesn't stick out far enough to hold this. So I started here and went all the way to the back. Yeah, so it, it didn't line up here for some reason. So what I'm going to do now is tighten all these nuts because I'm convinced then that this is correct. And I will redesign this uh, thing at the front. I'm going to grab that camera and make some nice shots. And this is the misalignment. So that's something I'm going to fix and add this to this uh, printer and this uh, is the final step for this frame all right i have printed this front panel and it fits perfectly it looks way better than than i expected and it's also a lot stiffer than i could have imagined <laughs> yes i think that this is a success and yeah the thing that i still have to yeah, uh, this yeah, the what adding the panels and the door and other cool stuff, but that's something I'm going to show in the next video. I'm going to upload all the parts on thingy first, but not just yet. I first want to finish this whole uh, enclosure and then I'm going to upload those parts. I'm also going to create a instruction manual and that's something I'm going to upload on my website which is properprinting.pro if you haven't seen that website then yeah uh, check it out I have an, uh, a blog on there yeah and that instruction manual will cover the build of this frame and the uh, the panels and all other stuff I still uh, must add to this to this printer i really hope you have enjoyed watching and if you did then uh, hit that like button if you want to see more consider subscribing if you haven't already so you don't miss a thing yeah i wish you have a nice day and i see you in the next video bye